In this video, you're going to learn something that you've never heard before. And how do I know that? Because I didn't even know that this was true until I ended up watching Solo Leveling, Hunter x Hunter, and went on a lot of walks. There's one common factor between both of these animes that you probably have not ever considered, and it is that there are ants. Why ants? You might be thinking, like, what is so special about ants? I was wondering the exact same thing myself. I was like, why ants? Why are ants in Solo Leveling? Why are they in Hunter x Hunter? And why are they the strongest of the strong creatures that are out there? Other than in Solo Leveling, there's also the dragon, the monarch of the dragons, and all these other stuff. But primarily, it's ants in Solo Leveling and ants in Hunter x Hunter. Like, they are the most devastating creatures in the world. And I was thinking about this. It's like, why is that? And it's like, because one, they're ruled by one specific individual, the queen. The queen controls the ants. The ants go off and do their bidding for the queen. And the queen is always able to create stronger and stronger ants if they need to have that happen. And as the stronger ants come, that means that they can defend the colony better so that they are able to survive and evolve over time. That's the whole point in Hunter Hunters, the Ch Chimera ants. I can never say the word right. Comment down below how to actually pronounce it. And in the solo leveling arc, when they go back to the island, because you saw that at the end of season one that they're playing on figuring that out, and you see that there's like ants that are evolving to have wings so that they can fly out there. It's because the ants evolve a ton. And you can do the exact same thing. You can also evolve. You can have a stronger creature within yourself. At least this is something that I've come to realize. Because like we can think about it in these terms. Like ants, they can create and lift 10 times, 100 times their body weight without any question. Like I was on my walk the other day and I was looking down and I saw this ant. It was carrying like a big boulder, like three or four times its size. And like that thing is... From the weight to the size distribution of that ant, that's really impressive. And it's like all ants can do this. And you might be thinking, well, like, how does this relate to, like, Hunter Hunter and Solo Leveling? And what's the point in ants to begin with? And it's because they're strong. Like, they're the strongest creatures out there. That's why Ant-Man works in the new Deadpool trailer. It's the one common factor that is in all of these animes is the way that to create stronger enemies is to by looking into nature and realizing what enemies are strong out in nature by their size comparison. To us, we don't see ants as being big. We just see ants as being ants, but that's not the case at all. Ants are so much more than they appear to be. They build colonies. They work in their own little unique level and universe, which maybe I can talk about that a little bit. Like, I don't know if you've ever thought about this, but like ants are something that like each colony is their own specific universe and what if that's also the case for you too like each place that you go you're on your own unique little universe that is able to thrive and or die and you have to evolve in that said situation to be able to keep the colony alive to keep the queen safe to keep your sa yourself yourself safe what if that's the case and it's interesting to see how two animes completely different were able to come to the same conclusion that ants need to be the strongest enemy. Ants are what can defeat other people that have caused people issues over times and decades because, like, they're so big. Like, if you imagine if ants got big, like, we would – our world would cease to exist because ants would just take over because there would be hundreds of millions of billions, maybe even trillions of ants out there. And there's a channel on YouTube that I haven't watched in a while called Ants Canada – and it's cool being able to see like how ants work. We're the exact same as people, and it's why they, these animes have ants because it's also just a matter of like stealing ideas from not even stealing, borrowing ideas from other things that exist out there, and using that in your own creation. Like it's still an original aspect; it's just done in a different way, which I've always found incredibly fascinating and interesting. So it's like there's nothing original, and you just can use the information that you have around you to be able to come up with new ideas and/or conclusions. I know this video is a bit shorter than some other videos that I've done in the past, but my watch time's at like one minute. I know there's probably some other people that do get to the end of the videos, and there's people that are like, oh, you content, content makes me edge. Don't even know what they're talking about, bro. Like, I mean, if they're edging off of this stuff, like, hopefully maybe they're still doing something productive. They did give me a view, so I can't really complain about that. I actually don't have any complaints whatsoever because they even left a comment. And this is something that I guess we can relate this back to ants a little bit as well, too. Is like, the ants, they don't care about the small little people that are leaving, quote-unquote, negative comments. Because they aren't really negative comments. They're just comments. <sighs> Everybody wants to try and get a rise out of somebody. I know I'm trying to do that right now in certain regards as well, just because I know that that's the way that 
you have to do it. It's kind of frustrating, but like that's also the only way that I've come to realize that you can change is by not liking being in the situation that you're in right now. And that's why you have to become strong. And that's why it's a requirement to have yourself evolve with time and create something, maybe an alter ego or something within yourself that is like stronger than how you are now, because the version that you are right now is inferior. It's weak. It's not able to defeat the enemies. It's not able to be strong. And people are going to walk over you. They're going to take advantage of you. They're going to do things that you don't want them to do because you're weak, because you can't lift 100 times your body weight, because you can't lift the burdens of the world. I'm not saying you have to lift every single burden, but like start small. Start lifting little burdens. Have other people help you out. Have other societies and other things create your wealth or create your abundance or like go off and do the work for you. Like if we think about an ant colony, the queen is just chilling in like her little safe hidey hole basically. And she has warriors that also do protect her and keep her safe. Whereas then there's like worker ants and then there's like builder ants and there's all these different ants that go off and do the thing just for the queen because the queen provides to the colony. And if you provide to the colony, then that means that you have to be strong to be able to protect the one that provides to you. I've seen in other animes as well, maybe not in the term of ants but like everybody protects luffy because luffy is the, the one that truly sees who his crew members are it's the same thing with miro and biru 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 like they protect their king their queen because that's what they're designed to do that's what's in their ecosystem and that's how they're able to create the life that they need to and protect everybody else around them cool hope you enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel it's free after all it doesn't take anything away from me all it does is a click of a button which is really not that hard to click a button like i've clicked buttons all the time you're probably clicking a button right now if you play video games you click buttons if you watch an anime you click a button that's all it is is like you clicking a button to get it started so just click that subscribe button it really doesn't do anything or take anything away from you other than just clicking a button it's completely free I'm not asking you to sell your soul or defeat any enemies right now like it's just a matter of clicking the button so subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video chat soon